All right, guys, so don't freak out. Uh, there is sound on the video. I just did a quick unboxing on the ThinkBook S13. Uh, so what's inside the box? So we have the Lenovo setup guide for the ThinkBook 13S and also for the 14S. We have our safety and warranty guide. We have our power cable. And then we have our power brick or our power adapter. Uh, the power adapter is actually 65 watts. So I'm going to take the power cable and plug it into the power brick or the power adapter and we're good to go on that. Then we have the beautiful Lenovo ThinkBook S13 which I automatically classify this laptop as a average consumer slash student laptop. Uh, it's great for light traveling weighing around 2.95 pounds. The thickness of this ThinkBook is around 0 0.61 inches. I love the color. Overall color for this particular laptop is mineral gray. For ports and features, the ThinkBook kind of lacks certain ports that I would like to see on this particular laptop. It has the standard ports that you would typically use for day-to-day -day usage. If you have the laptop facing you to the point that you're able to open it up like this, on your right-hand side, you have one 3.1 USB port. And right next to that, you have an additional 3.1 USB port always on charging. On your left hand side, you have your power port, you have your HDMI, you have a type C port, which allows you to have an external monitor. And right next to that, you have your mic slash headphone audio jack. All right, so we went over some of the ports and features. Uh, I did forget to mention one of the things that I do not like about the ports and features, which is missing for me personally. Uh, I do like laptops with micro SD card slots. This particular model does not have it. Uh, so it's okay. It does have two USB ports, one type C and HDMI, which is pretty good. But, uh, I would love to see a micro SD or SD card reader on this particular machine, but it doesn't have it, whatever. So let's open it up real smooth and take a closer look inside of it. Beautiful. Yes. Now the power button is located at the very top on the right hand side. One of the cool things about the ThinkBook S13 is that the fingerprint scanner uh, is integrated with the power button. Typically you see the fingerprint scanner around this base right here right next to the trackpad especially on the right hand side uh, but it's right here integrated on the power button. So let's power it on. Now I just pressed the power button and didn't turn on. So another thing that I did not like about the ThinkBook S13. Typically when you hit the power button it's pretty sensitive and it turns on automatically. On the ThinkBook S13, I kind of noticed that you, you actually have to put some force on the power button to turn it on, right? So that's the only thing that I found kind of strange on the S13. Now, I have the fingerprint scanner kind of set up already, and because I touched it when I powered it on, it automatically logs in, which is pretty cool. So let's talk about the trackpad on the ThinkBook S13. If you want to know the length of the trackpad, if you take two quarters, one nickel, two dimes, it's going to measure around 4.15 inches. I didn't have any issues using the trackpad on the S13. Super responsive, no issues, no freezes, no nothing. It, was, it just worked, which is great. Now, the keyboard on the S13 was great. Feedback was amazing. I didn't have any issues typing at all. Uh, the distance between each key, if you take a nickel and a dime, that's going to measure around 0 0.12 inches. I was super satisfied on the ThinkBook S13 that the control key and the function key was in the correct uh, location. It is backlit. I did not like the brightness on the keyboard. It was a little dim for me. It wasn't too bright. Okay, so we went over the trackpad and the keyboard on the ThinkBook S13. How about the display? Now, for the display, we have a measurement of... 13.3 inches, full HD with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Uh, and it actually has 300 nits for brightness. Now this is the brightest that this display could go to. Uh, let me see if I can locate it and it's right here. It's actually F12. That's the brightest. And this is the lowest that it could actually go. And this particular model does have anti-clear display technology. So it's it's pretty good when you're using it from outside, but this is the brightest that it could go. At the very top of the display, you have a 720 webcam with a Think Shutter privacy. So this guy right here allows you to uh, kind of like shut it off. The little red dot means it's off, and slide to the other side. It is on. 
Awesome. I was really happy to see that the ThinkBook S13 was not touchscreen. And it looks like on the Lenovo side, they don't advertise touchscreen, which is great. Huge plus because I don't like using touchscreens on laptops. If it was a laptop slash hybrid, like you could convert it into a tablet, okay. Okay, so let's take a look on the specifications on this particular laptop that Lenovo sent me to review for you guys. So I'm going to right click on the taskbar, go to task manager, and I'm going to expand it a little bit, go to performance, and on the CPU graph, I'm going to right click on it, change the graph to logical processor. And this guy is running one socket, four cores, eight logical processors, and it is an Intel Core i5-8265U processor with a clock speed of 1.60 gigahertz. Now, the ThinkBook S13 is capable of going to an i7, eighth generation processor, which is pretty cool. It gave me an i5, which, you know, it's okay. Uh, but I was able to actually do Adobe, Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, even Cam, Cam Studio, editing videos on this particular machine. I had no issues, no, no problems. Super satisfied with the specifications. It's a great machine. It's a nice little lightweight for editing. Uh, for memory, they gave me the model with only 8 gigs. But from my understanding, you are able to only go up to 16 gigs of memory. For hard drive space, uh, it looks like it is a 256 gig solid state drive. And for graphics, it only came with the Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620. Now, when I was checking out the Lenovo site, it looks like you are able to upgrade the ThinkBook S13 to a Radeon graphics card, which is pretty cool. We will go over some of that stuff with the pricing later on. Okay, so we went over the specifications on the ThinkBook 13S from Lenovo. Specifications were great for me, especially uh, because the stuff that I was doing with Adobe Premiere, Photoshop Illustrator, the machine was capable of handling it with no problem, especially with the Intel i5 8th generation. Again, you are able to upgrade it with an i7 processor, but again, it's going to cost a little bit more money. Now, I did classify the ThinkBook 13S as a average consumer slash student laptop. So as a student, right, you want a laptop that you don't have to just be plugged in all the time. So how about the battery? Battery is extremely important if you're traveling a lot. So let's check out the, the results on the battery. Now, I like to run PC Mark 10, and I like to run three tests. And the first one is Modern Office Battery Life, which runs like Office Suite, uh, web browsing, and all that stuff until it's constantly looping, looping over, over, and over until the battery completely dies out. Now the battery and the test stops around 10% or 8% and it gave it around nine hours and 36 minutes. Now the second test that I like to run is video, okay? Just playing nonstop video, like video chats, playing movies and all that stuff, it gave it around 11 hours and 52 minutes. Now you're probably saying to yourself, what kind of settings did you use? I just took out this machine out of the box and just used the basic settings i didn't modify the the brightness i didn't modify the battery life performance or none of that stuff i didn't tweak anything i just took it out the box started messing around with it ran all the battery tests and these are the results that i got now the last one that i ran was uh basically idle it's not doing anything well it is doing something because it's connected to the wi-fi uh and it's still running like windows updates and all that other nonsense and it gave it around 13 hours and 38 minutes now on my fourth test, I typically take the laptop at home, I leave the battery pack at the lab, and I just use the laptop as a regular user, you know, watching Netflix, editing. I did notice when you plug in an external um, monitor, USB or Type-C, the battery life gets cut in half. So I got mostly around four to five hours. When I was not using my external monitor, my portable external monitor, I got between seven and a half to eight hours strong. Okay, so we just finished going over the battery life on the ThinkBook 13S, which is great for average consumers and for students. So for a student and an average consumer, if you're just using it to do you know basic stuff like going online, watching movies, listening to music, you don't want to uh, you know break the bank. So how much are you actually going to pay for the 13S? So if you go inside the Lenovo site, and for the ThinkBook 13S, you are actually going to pay 
Starting price is only $681.85. Okay, so that's around $700. For the 14 model, uh, I'm assuming you probably pay maybe $100 more. Yep, $100 more. So round it off $705 with taxes and stuff. $710. I want to look at the 13S because that's the one that we are looking at right now. And let's check out the specifications on this particular model. Now, like I said before, this laptop is capable of going to an i7-8565U with a clock speed of 1.80. That is great. With Topo Boost, you could go up to 4.60. On the i5 model that I've been testing out for you guys, the Turbo Boost can go up to 3.90 gigahertz, which is great. Again, you're still going to get the 13.34 HD with the anti-glare display. HDR, 300 nits, that's great. Uh, up to only 16 gigs of memory. They are advertising around 11 hours of battery life, which is what I got when I did my PC Mark 10 testing. But it really depends on how you're using it. I got around five and a half to six hours of battery life. Uh, that kind of cut short when I was using my external monitor because my external monitor was grabbing the juice from the USB or the Type C. The battery life on that got cut half. For storage, up to 512 gigabytes of M.2 PCIe solid state drive, which is pretty good. And for the graphics, this is where it gets kind of crazy. You can actually get an AMD Radeon 540 x two gigs uh and that's gonna cost you more money if you go that route now you guys got to understand starting price is only 681 dollars close to 700 dollars right so let's look at some of the models that they have and let's go all the way to your right hand side and let's match up the lowest end to the highest end again the lowest end is 681 the highest end you're going to spend close to 1100 dollars. so what are you going to get for $700, you're going to get the i5 processor. For the $1,100, you're going to get the i7. Uh, you're definitely going to get the max out memory, 16 gigs for the most expensive one. Uh, definitely going to go all the way up to 512 gigabytes on solid state drive. Display is the same. It looks like for $1,100, you're stuck with the integrated Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620. If you want to bump it up to the AMD Radeon, you might spend maybe $200 more, which is going to be around $1,300 in total. Uh, and that's it. Wow. That's not that bad. I don't, I don't really see a lot of students paying $1,300. If you are a student that's gaming, you could probably spend the $1,300 and get that AMD Radeon processor. Because if you are a, you know, a student doing video editing or photographer... That graphics card will definitely work out with you if you're using like Premiere or Photoshop. All right, so let's conclude our review on the ThinkBook 13S from Lenovo. Now, I did notice some heating around this area right here as well as at the bottom of the display. You will get a lot of heating coming out from the back of the laptop because that's where the vents are located. Now, for noise, I did notice some clicking, some weird noise happening around this area right here. especially when I was using Adobe Premiere or I was rendering out my 1080p uh, videos or using Cam Studio rendering, I did hear a lot of noise. Like it was really weird. Uh, it wasn't loud enough that it was driving me nuts, but I did notice some noise around here. Now you guys gotta understand this is a review unit from Lenovo. So it is not out of a box laptop fresh from Best Buy or Target or whatever. Now for sound, it is really loud. Uh, I was able to get around 86.4 decibels when I was using this particular laptop. Uh, and that's not that bad. The speakers are located on the left and right side at the bottom of the laptop. It's a nice location for those speakers. If you're stationed at a desk with hard wood, the sound basically bounces up and hits you right in your face. But the highest that I got on the sound was around 86.4 decibels. Overall, I did have a lot of fun using this laptop. Uh, I enjoyed using Premiere, Photoshop. It was capable of handling all the stuff that I, I pushed to it. Uh, one of the things I do not like about the laptop is uh, the lack of port. Uh, I do miss the SD card or micro SD card slot. It doesn't have that, which is okay. Uh, the two ports, the two USB ports, the Type-C, the HDMI, that works great with no problem. It does have fast charging, which I was uh, super impressed on that. The pricing is not that bad, especially if you're a student with a budget. You are able to spend at least $700 and get a decent laptop 
for your day-to-day -day stuff uh, at school or even at work. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review on Lenovo's ThinkBook 13S. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And also make sure to hit that subscribe and share out the video. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.